Hello, you guys. Welcome to, I think this is part three. I don't know. So, I have, I have no idea how the boy factors into this. The last sentence made it seem like ghost haunt, so I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, what a marvel it is to adorn my clothing with the stars themselves. As a reclusive designer, Abner's dream, so Abner's his name, has always been to take these beloved stars and weave them into his fashion designs. Fashion designs? I don't see any stars on him. Did I read that right? I don't know. He firmly believed that one day the stars in the night sky, sky would become the most outstanding features of Lilith attire. To this end, Abner um, often went to the observatory to behold the seldom seen, uh, seldom again, I think it means rare, starry skies. After sketching them on paper, he would return to his home and keep his drawings for inspiration to his future creations. Oh, his loneliness, however, gradually weighed upon his passion, eventually all but extinguishing it. Even in the most star-filled nights, Abner couldn't shake away his loneliness, helplessness, and he dis discontinued his design. Aww, but passion is very much like the fading embers of a roaring fire. For as long as it is protected by another, it can always be born anew. Anew, I think, new, or again, one night, a girl burst into the Oh, okay. So this is how they connect, huh? A girl burst into the observatory. Because he would go there, right? Is that what it said? So he can do his sketches. Reigniting Abner's passion. Oh, chasing away his loneliness. He looked at her with curiosity. And as the same passion that he once had. And her love for the stars appears to be even greater than his own. He, he, than his own. He strikes up a conversation with Renee. Talking about the starry sky in their dreams. The stars were the ones who brought him together after all. And together they began to research the stars every waking hour. So yeah, I added that sentence on purpose. Uh, the recording... They recorded their findings and drew out a star map for each season of the year. Thus, the complicated stars made simple to follow. Over time, Abner... What? How many years? Abner grew to become an excellent designer. But the comment that Renee has been expecting has yet to appear. But even after 76 years... Oh, 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 okay, they're not 76 years. I, I, I assume they're just saying, okay, the 76th year has passed. Not them age <laughs> they don't give up but they are no longer alone so they want to see a comet but it's been that long oh oh that's cute so they fell in love the cosmos so vast and simply empty thank god more happiness devoid of sound even when the skies are brimming with stars this loneliness will forever exist Oh, but as long as they have each other they will never feel it ever again oh that's that's it's it's such adorable. I'm I'm so annoyed now. I cannot read this. God damn it! Oh, that was so cute. So so they they ju they just met because they like to go to the observatory. Is that what they said? Right? She likes to look at the scar star and weaves them to her clothes or puts design to her clothes as she wants to take pluck out the stars. I don't know. And he goes there to get inspiration for f uh the. The, the the galaxy and stars and stuff and no 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 that's adorable <laughs> yes I think his name is Sean how do I know I have no freaking idea if it, if that's his actual name so here are the winter clothes I heard that it's getting colder over there remember to keep warm it's sunny today I bought a new bonsai totally my god they're having a phone call and they're right next to each other that makes sense i'm in your school now Who's, uh, okay i'm in your school now do you remember what day a day is today my love i am in your school oh but i am in your school now i do remember it's it's our one year anniversary my love i didn't read that right i'm in your school now do you remember what day it is today my love so here are the outfits. These are the outfits that are special. They talk. All right. This one seems to be having a promising. So his name is Sean. How the hell do I know? I guess because I read part of it. I don't know. And the Wheatfield train station. I think this is supposed to symbolize a long distance relationship. I think that's what Vivi said. Or where did I read it? I don't know. Um, Rena sat on the bench. 
and waited for Sean, her lover, to pick up to pick her up. They were former classmates who fell in love and decided to celebrate the one-year anniversary in Weefields, Appletown, located along the border of the Lilith Kingdom. They could have spent the entire day celebrating, but the trains ran late and the day was ne- nearly over. But there wasn't enough time to even leave the station for a nice stroll th- through the through the through the what <laughs> through the park wheat field i don't know uh looking at the other passengers carrying away their luggage she remembered the day sean saw her off to lilith so she moved to school right the station was bustling with people sean patted her on the head and told her to take to take to be careful playfully she warned him to keep his distance <laughs> Mother girls, the two then fell into silence, neither willing to be the first to say farewell. Finally, Nina picked up her luggage, joking that if the train left, she would be back much earlier than expected. Her tears fell as she re- as she turned to walk away. When the train finally started to depart, the two waved and the other until they became uh, tiny black dots in the distance. When she returned from a reminiscence, she realized that it would be the first time in two years. Uh, in two, the first, the first time the two saw each other since they were in school together. Suddenly, a shadow loomed over Rina, and a pair of hands covered her eyes. A familiar voice spoke into Rina's ears, "Hello, my fair lady, and welcome to our custom-made luxury trip, an exclusive to our scenic wheat field." Oh, I assume this is Sean. This is why I'm deep voicing right now um wheatfield tra- train station because she's a familiar voice in the wheatfield thing that's cute Aww. right sean contemplated his introduction all the way to the train station so i guess that's him uh but didn't get the response he was hoping for instead Reno only responded to his monologue with kick all oh, he was just monologuing as he pulls his hand away embarrassingly uh, I almost called her Rita. Rina smiles and asks, "Well, my, th- well, my dear tour guide, what is, uh, what is our first stop for today? Wheatfield Station is by no means a lively scenic spot, housing a few basic features. Oh, oh, I thought I said hurricane. <laughs> Facilities for travelers, for travelers use." Sean looks around hurriedly and tries to think of something when he spies a pair of telephone booths taking Rina's hand. Wait, are you trying to tell me this picture? Hold on. Um, he leads her into one of the phone booths and memorizes its number, then enters the adjacent booth. He dials Rena's uh Rena's booth. Ring ring ring. <laughs> Rena picks up the booth, barely seeing Sean through the booth's thick blurry gra- glass. Um, okay. Hello, Rena. Hello, Sean. Allow me to present the f- I don't know who's talking. Um, to stop along our tour, the lovers' telebo- telephone booths. Unfortunately, it seems to be the only attraction open today. Can you see me through the glass? I know that we live far apart. Who's talking? Sean? Um, can you see me through the through the glass? I know that we live far apart and don't get to meet often. So we can only talk over the phone. But I hope that from now on, we're me- whenever we call each other you'll remember this scene remember my face looking at you right beside you whenever you look up physical distance can prevent two lovers from seeing each other but it can never prevent their hearts from coming closer it can never prevent wait they can never prevent oh i assume it's talking about like their hearts can always go together Right? When it's only connected, and the only way to get is through electronic signals, I'll still be able to see your face in this moment. What just happened? So, so you went to the station, and they met, but... Okay, so I commented, I think, in the last video, or I don't know, how I'm like... I was like, okay, they're right next to each other, and they're phone calling... I have a f- feeling that was actually done on purpose, like I just read right now. I loved the fall story a lot. I don't know what the summer is, so annoyingly. So, 
they came back. Okay, she came back. It looks like she went abroad, I guess, to school, right? And then they went to this phone booth that is strangely together. <laughs> Can you see me? So I guess they tested it out together. So they know what it feels like to stay apart again? Because they can only phone call each other? God, I wish somebody would just uh, sit down and actually explain these things, man. Right beside you. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. I still, so from the stories that I read, I like the fall one first, the second one, the spring, and third, the winter surprise via radio wave. So, um, yeah, that was so cute. Oh my god. Oh. anniversary welcome to our exclusive journey i will admit that w the way he speaks it welcome to our exclusive journey sounds kind of strange if only I could teleport. other than that away. all the other voicing is perfect teleport hello sean hello sean oh now i know why his name is sean cuz she says it alone on these strange streets i miss your warm hands I miss you, warm hands, Sean. I love you so much. <gasps> I'm adding my own dialogue. I don't know, should I for fun? <laughs> Sean, I miss you so much. I mean, I'm I'm like right next to you and I'm phone calling. I assume that's, that's supposed to be done on purpose, but I will always love you. I know, my dear, whose name I actually forgot. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had amnesia, my dear love, Rena. But I love you so much. We will always, always be together, even if we're always far apart. I know. It's okay, but we'll always, always be together. <laughs> even through phone calls. Nikki Cafe? Oh, that's a cafe. That's not a school. What a dummy uh, that I am. So, I don't know. Should I continue? I'm actually having more fun than I thought I would, so... Sean, I will always, always, always love you, no matter how far apart we are. I know, my dear, how no matter how far apart we are, Rena, I will always, always love you myself. So, so what? I don't know. <laughs> so let's go to the, wh where did they went? So please, um, if you'd like, let's, let's go to the wheat fields, Apple Town. Maybe have some picnic and we can kiss. I don't know. <laughs> But Sean, I just came back. I don't know. Okay, I better stop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making up my own story. <laughs> God damn it. So yeah, I hope that you had uh, enjoyed these videos. I've been meaning to do something like this for a while because I noticed I have accumulated outfits that have stories in them. Sadly, I don't have the grace finished. That means the story is not continued for me. And the summer one. I don't know what the summer is. I wish I knew. I can probably spoil it. I just have to find or I could just ask somebody to help me figure out what the story is. But man, I, I had fun. This was definitely a fun uh first anniversary uh for me that I did. This was a lot of fun. I don't think I have any more outfits that have stories in them. However, obviously the outfits in these games have stories in them. So, yeah, I hope that you had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun reading them. Man, that ghost gathering was depressing as fuck. Every night's dream, I'm still confused. I don't know what the hell happens. The translation is, yeah, four seasons. Thank God it was happy. It was so beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. I will see you. Maybe I'll make one last video because there was one more video I've been thinking of making. I think I might do that, so see you in the next video.